good morning happy friday it's friday february 24th can't believe the month is already over even though february is only what like two days shorter than the rest it always just feels to go by quicker feels to go by quicker I don't know. I'm trying not to have coffee this morning because I want to go to a coffee shop and work for the first half of the day. So my brain is clearly not functioning yet. I was going to vlog yesterday on Thursday, but then I realized everything I did yesterday was everything I did in the last vlog that I posted. And look, I promised more YouTube content in 2023. But I didn't promise more interesting YouTube content. <laughs> I literally like fake tanned later on in my fake tan while I worked all day and then made a crock pot meal, which is exactly what I did in last week's vlog. So that's also some of my motivation to go to a coffee shop and switch up my routine a little bit so you guys aren't watching the exact same thing every single day. I'm definitely more on the routine comforting side of content, but I do find that interesting because I feel like people, some people like the travel and like the crazy type of wild aspirational type of content and then some people just like, you know, the routine based stuff. But either way, I've already tanned and I've already made my crock pot meal, so this vlog is different. Hair and makeup are done. I have a yoga class at three, so I just did like a slicked back ponytail and then I'll end up having to wash off all this makeup. But I've been trying out the Kosas Glow IV. It's like their latest skin product. I thought that it was a skin tint, like I thought it was a BB cream situation. It's not, it's like, um, it's more like a deep bronzy, like Drunk Elephant deep bronzy, Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. It's like that type of product. It's more of like a primer or a mix in. Um, but I mixed it with my foundation today, the Kosas foundation actually, and I think it looks really good. I'm gonna get ready, put on an outfit, pack my bag, and then head over to a coffee shop. I think I'm gonna go to Black and White today. I have to check to make sure they're open, but I think that's gonna be the place. expired and I can't renew it because I didn't realize I was parking in one hour only parking so I just left the coffee shop I got two TikToks edited and drafted and now I'm gonna make my way back home to finish up some more work but I think I'm gonna stop at Target first because it ran out of toilet paper so I will gladly take any excuse to go to Target I really love this laundry detergent, the Tide Honey Lavender. It smells so good. And I also really like the 7th Gen Lavender. But I'm out of laundry detergent and I just saw this. I've never seen Mrs. Meyers Birchwood. It smells so good. I think I'm gonna do this and branch out a little bit. Has anyone tried this? I've never even used, I mean, I love Mrs. Meyers, but I've never used one of their laundry detergents. So hopefully this is good. Just put together a quick little salad for lunch. I had fried up some chicken yesterday. I just sliced breasts really thinly and then um, like breaded it. And I actually breaded it in buffalo sauce, so they're a little bit spicy. But anyways, I just put those on a salad with red onion, tomato, avocado, cheese, and I'm gonna eat this for lunch. I have about 30 minutes before I have to start getting ready for yoga. I just have to wash my face and change my clothes. Nothing major, but I'm gonna try and do some more work. So I just closed some of the blinds because the sun is insane in here in the afternoon. But I think my computer still has a decent amount of charge. So I'm just gonna sit at the couch and maybe watch something on TV because there's new Netflix stuff out. I think Outer Banks is out. And then there's like a documentary thing that I think I wanted to watch out now. And I'm debating if it's too late in the day to have another Celsius. Actually, it's not another. I haven't had one yet today. Maybe I will. My little car tripod broke, so I'm gonna try and fill you in while I'm at a stoplight. But I'm on the way to yoga. I washed my face and got all my makeup off. My two non-negotiables for a hot yoga class is some form of braided ponytail and no makeup because I will break out so badly if I have like anything on my skin aside from very simple skincare. I also bring face wash and sunscreen and everything to wash my face and reapply skincare after the class. Just pulled in, I am taking a yoga sculpt class today. So it's a little bit of yoga, mostly like weights and guys I did workouts like that. Just got done with class. It's like four o'clock. I have two things to drop off at the post office to Poshmark orders that sold. That I'm like really late to ship actually. So I like put a lip gloss in each one and like wrote an apology. Um, so if you are 
Chloe or Maggie, please don't hate me. I'm gonna go to the post office and then depending on if the post office is near TJ Maxx, I kinda wanna go to TJ Maxx because everyone is posting like free people movement at TJ Maxx. And you know, now that I'm in my yoga era, like I would buy some. <laughs> I wish they had this in a C because I love that necklace. I sprayed one of those perfumes on myself and now I'm gonna be sick. I would have killed for these in high school. Something else I would have killed for in high school. They have a ton of these tanks that look exactly like the Aritzia ones. You're kidding. I'm playing the game of is this cute or is this just a designer brand on sale at TJ Maxx? Let's try some stuff on. These are nowhere near my size, but I'm gonna try them anyways. These are so cute, but they're also $100, so it's a no. Back home and all showered. Obviously, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry tonight. I didn't find anything at TJ Maxx, and honestly, I shouldn't have gone because I totally forgot I have a deadline to meet tonight. So I'm just gonna lie in bed and record a voiceover. I found that the sound, I think with like the bedding and everything in here, like the sound is pretty good when I record voiceovers. I'm gonna do that. It's honestly, I hate recording voiceovers. I can like go down rabbit holes of fixating on ways that I've pronounced certain words. So I'm gonna try and get it done in the next like five minutes, submit this, and then probably eat dinner. Like I said, I have like a leftover situation tonight for dinner um, and it's 6.10. So hopefully this voiceover doesn't take long. It's no secret I love my steam up. So Bissell sent me their new crossway pipe. Secret I love my steam up. So Bissell sent me the secret I love my steam up. So it's no secret I love my... Finally just submitted that. I'm going to eat dinner and then I think I'm gonna make a Whole Foods run because I really want more Zevia. That's like my recent obsession lately. It's like the Stevia soda brand. I don't think it's new by any means. It's just new to me. I've never really tried it before the past couple weeks, maybe a month. The creamy root beer is my favorite, but I also like the cola and the Dr. Zevia. The only thing is they're clear. Um, like there's no none of the caramel color that are in like, traditional sodas. So personally, I have to drink them in the can. If I pour them into a glass, it just mentally doesn't look right and the t it tastes different if I know that it's clear. Anyways, that's my plan for the night. Nothing exciting. The kitchen is still a wreck from dinner, but I just got home from Sprouts and I wanna show you what I got. These cracker things are so good. So I got two flavors of these and then some random ingredients because I'm gonna make beef barbacoa in the crock pot tomorrow. The other other crackers, more barbacoa ingredients in that, I believe. My favorite little treat, the Clio Greek yogurt bars. Some cookies to make tonight and watch Outer Banks. Tortillas and tomatoes because the barbacoa is actually gonna go in burritos. And then the Zevia, the creamy root beer. They have six packs, but they only have the creamy root beer in 12, so I committed to a 12 pack because honestly, I'm gonna drink it anyways. It doesn't have any of like the prebiotic, probiotic benefits of poppy or Olipop, but honestly, if you like can't handle that, like. I know if you drink too many Olipops in a day, like it will like mess your stomach up. So that's kind of a selling point of these, honestly. You can like drink them like you would a regular soda and not have to worry about that stuff. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Gonna go to bed now. Watched a couple episodes of Outer Banks. I think actually like almost the entire season. But thank you for watching another vlog, another very riveting vlog, I know. I don't really, do I have anything fun coming up? Maybe. I don't know, stay tuned, we'll see. But make sure that you're like actually subscribed. I know like if you watch a certain number of videos, like it'll just automatically like give you recommendations of the person's next video. But make sure that you're like actually subscribed to me if you don't mind. That's all for today. I will see you in the next video.